In this video, we're going to look at how we can install Delphi Community Edition on our computers at home. So this works on computers. It'll also work on whatever laptop you might have. And the reason why we are going for Community Edition is because it's free and it's easy to install. It has all the features that we require and more, and it's accessible to anyone. So the first step is to search for Delphi Community Edition, an internet search. And depending on your results, it may be the first one or the second one. I'm going to click on download the free Delphi Community Edition. Once the page loads, they're going to ask us to register an account, which we should do. Fill in the details. Just take note that the email address must be a valid one because they're going to send us an email with the serial key in it and we need that serial key in order to complete the installation. Uh, but the other fields you can enter and complete them as you please. Uh, for example, the company, you can just type the name of your school. Once you are done with that, you click on the download now button it'll start downloading about 150 megabyte sized installation file and send that email to the email address that you specified i've already downloaded the installation file it's called rad which stands for rapid application development it's an environment environment a coding environment where we can code with Delphi and also some other programming languages as well. So just because it isn't called Delphi, don't get confused. So we'll double click on it and let's open up the installation file. So the first screen, we'll just go ahead and click the checkbox and say next. Okay, I'm going to enter a new license key. Many of you, especially if you are in grade 10 and doing this for the first time, you probably won't see the screen. It'll just skip it and go to the next one. Okay, no problem. This is only if you already have a version or a license installed, perhaps the grade 11 or grade 12 student who installed Delphi last year. All right, uh, we don't want to say existing because it's going to use the expired key from the previous year. So we all want to say, enter new license. All right, we should all see this screen though. We have three options available to us and we're going to choose the middle one. All right, Delphi is going to start the installation process and a window should pop up. There we go. This is a very important window because this is where we enter our license key. Now at this stage, you should go to the email address that you entered when you registered and look for the email from Embarcadero. Embarcadero is the company that owns Delphi. Inside the email, you'll find a serial key. You can copy and paste that serial key over here where it says serial number. With Delphi Community Edition, we don't have to worry about any username or password, so we can leave that blank. Once we're done, we click on register. All right, so the installation process is gonna go ahead now. And once this green bar fills up, this window will disappear and another window will appear where we will have to select exactly what settings we'd like for the installation process. So let's just give it a few seconds. There we go. And there's our other screen. All right. So there's a couple of different versions we can choose from here for the community edition. All right, we can uh, Delphi for Android, Delphi for iOS, Macintosh, but the only one that we really worried about is Delphi Windows Community. All right, if you do 
happen to be using a Mac, and then you will obviously choose the second one, right, for Mac OS. But we're not interested in that one. We want the first one. Most of us will probably be using Windows devices, so that will be fine. We'll click on Continue. And the second screen over here, we don't have to concern ourselves with any of these extra packages. I don't think any of us wants to be coding in German or Japanese. So we can leave those unticked and click on Install. We can see um, it's going to download 500 megabytes, approximately 8 minutes. And we need to have at least 3 gigabytes free on our hard drive. Right, if you've made it to this stage, you're pretty much done. All that you have to do now is wait for it to download, extract and install, which it will do automatically from this point on. Once it's done, you'll see that we have this new little icon here called Delphi. Right, so finally we have a Delphi icon 10.4 on our screen and this is how we'll open Delphi once this is done. Now, if you do find that you are not getting to this stage, so either you, you simply cannot get this email found, you, there's no email sent to you, even though you've tried more than once, or when you paste the serial number in, it constantly tells you that something is not valid. If this is the case, then we can go to the second option, which is to install Delphi 11. Unfortunately, I can only help students of Western High School with this, as we will need a valid serial number, username and password, and I cannot give that away to everybody, unfortunately. So if you do find that you're having problems, you can't get the community edition sorted out, then I want you to come and see me at school, and I'll give you the Delphi 11 install file, and I'll also give you the serial number and the username and password that you need. In terms of installing that version, it's identical to installing the community edition, which we did, just did. So you can follow these steps as well. The only difference will be when we are entering our license details. So we copy and paste the serial number. We will also have to copy and paste a username and a password but then other than that everything is pretty much identical so i'm going to let this install and once it's done i'll have access to delphi community edition